Hey guys, good morning. It's Tony. Just got finished running, so don't mind if I'm breathing heavily a little bit. Um, before I start the video, I do want to say please like, subscribe, and comment. If you want to join the Patreon, you can join at patreon.com forward slash but I'm not a trader. Um, I know I was very bullish on Friday, and I was actually extremely bullish this morning. Very, very bullish. But we just recently had um, this big candle down on the hour. Um, you know, you were holding up this extremely well right above mid channel so i did think that from here you're immediately going to shoot up to 445 right but as of right now you know you did close nasdaq you know nasdaq is on that four hour bear right nasdaq on that four hour bear you're on mid channel and you reject it on that four hours so as of right now i'm looking at the possibility of coming back down to around like a 15 3 15 2, 9, 6 on the nasdaq maybe a little bit higher at like 15.353 so that's what i'm looking for right now and with cpi tomorrow you know it's definitely a good time to offload risk um you know i would not go into cpi tomorrow holding anything just in case right the end the move ends up being unexpected i don't know which direction cpi is going to take us but for now you know i definitely start at looking at, at at offloading risk and getting out of longs for now right for right now the eight hour did close towards the upside right so we did close this eight hour bull trigger or eight hour candle above uh that weekly resistance came right back down and then shot right back up and you just closed this eight hour towards the upside on spx so while i well spx is looking less bearish than the nasdaq right you're still going to be more than likely closing this four hour bear in about three hours and in three three and a half hours so you know right now i definitely offload risk um if anybody wants to long maybe long here at previous support at like 439 um but as of right now you know you are starting to accelerate lower there you go and you just bro broke lows so you know it's really right now it's kind of up to you know that five that five minute bear trigger is not doing anything with a bull trigger so i can definitely see us at least coming back down to touch this four four zero zero level um but as of right now definitely looking more bearish than than bullish for today um you can also see like the dxy the dollar is pumping completely staying flat right now right and on the hour 30 minute actually is you might close bearish on this so we'll see i don't you know the vix i tend to only look at the vix when it has gaps to fill and the vix still has the vix actually open with a huge gap down here 14 to 4 but we still have a massive massive gap still at this 21 24 level so you know if the vix decides randomly to push up to this level you know expect spx or spy and you know all the big tech to drop heavily um but for right now at least going into today it does look a little bit more bearish right apple's already closing the four hour if we look into the and we look into big tech right apple closing the four hour coming down a little bit still holding up uh tesla tesla still dropping right i actually do have calls on tesla i'm gonna get the hell out of these at open i do not want to be holding tesla calls right now um, especially with the four hour on everything closing bear qqq right qqq coming down a little bit nvidia nvidia hit hit, hit mid channel right i can see this coming back down to like a four seven three amazon amazon again just trading sideways it looks like you're going to be closing the four hour but just on how everything else is reacting you know again microsoft on that mid channel again still you can definitely come back to like a 357 and then also amd already hit resistance here i can see amd coming back down to like a four like a 113 ish right like a 113 it's going to be closing a four like amd is a really good short right now amd I, i'd argue is a very perfect short i would definitely want to short this but you have cpi tomorrow and i really don't want to test my luck on you know what direction cpi is meta again really good short it looks like you might come down to 315 but again keep in mind cpi is tomorrow so you know you're essentially gambling today if you hold if you're if you're trading tomorrow trade small right um i'm probably buy a couple of puts today uh to trade towards tomorrow coin also looks like a really good short here 
because Bitcoin does look like it's coming back down. If you look at Bitcoin, right? So Bitcoin, right? Bitcoin looks right now like it is struggling to stay up here. You're all, you're barely going to close the daily bear trigger today and you're still on a two day. So I did hit, right? We did hit one of my targets, which is this 37.5 on Bitcoin. And whoops. But as of right now, you know, would not be surprised if you actually start coming back down on uh, on Coinbase or on Coinbase to match up Bitcoin. And Bitcoin drops like in like 34.4 again. But we'll see what happens. Um, but again, I am leaning more towards the bear side today, strictly because you are starting to reject. You know, you're going to be closing that four hour, and it looks like you are rejecting. You know these levels if this 15 minute can come all the way down on spx and close on the bull side and you're up above this weekly resistance or this weekly support of 440 then i'd consider longing the market again but i'd open i'm probably going to get out of everything because too risky to hold there's too many things that are coming down and you know even apple even apple is kind of selling off a little bit and i can see it back at like a 184 and then it comes back to 184 you know you know you could definitely see something lower but i don't know i think you possibly just be retesting down here 184 if we look at extended if we look at just the regular trading hours i can definitely see this coming back down to like a one 184 because it already broke everything right it broke all major trends so a really good long on apple would be for this whoops where's the daily all right so the daily came back really strong at the end of the day right yeah actually never mind maybe wednesday because you know i don't want to be in anything you know i don't want to be in every, anything for tomorrow for cpi so i'd say just offload risk everything looks a little bit more bearish today as opposed to bullish just because that those four hours are closing on everything right so i'd say definitely offload risk today especially with cpi tomorrow so with that being said more bearish today than anything else it's good time to offload risk and you know possibly a better time to start looking for you know i don't want to say shorts but you could start looking for shorts um you know depending on where we are at cpi tomorrow and how the numbers come out but if we end up closing the day today back above this trend here right then it's a pretty bullish move and you can expect us to keep pushing towards like a 443 possibly higher for a 50 level but for right now you know i'd say definitely offload risk you know especially from like the more volatile stocks like tesla or something like uh like nvidia amd stuff like that so definitely a good time to start offloading risk with that being said i'll see you guys later have a great day bye bye